what's going on everybody it is the TDG 2000 here and um, I have my family in the background they're just chilling watching a movie um, I have just been slacking on the uploads and I've had this video in the back of my mind for a while so I was like why not let's just get it done right now um, I hope the background noise isn't too loud uh, we're gonna get through this quick uh, because there's not many perks um, now again, I do want to do like a brand new uh, perk list because as you can see, this one's kind of a mess because there's literally just like duplicates of them like crazy, but it's the only good one I can find with at least e almost every perk. Um, if I were to make a actual perk list, I would probably do every single perk in history um, and as well at least just do like because they don't have like Black Ops 4, Quick Revive in here or shit like that so I would like to do a bigger video of going into each game's kind of different perks as long as there's something different like I'm not gonna do Jug from Black Ops 1 and Jug from GO2 like there's no point but like big differences between perks and games uh, like Quick Revive and World at War for say and World at War and Black Ops are Quick Revive and Black Ops 1 is different also in Black Ops 4 Quick Revive is different stuff like that uh, so I will be doing a better map tier list where it actually has all the maps I will make my own and have it as a template and have it be the best one because I literally can't find a decent fucking uh, list out there uh, so I'm going to make the best one and um, same with the perks I'll do the perks um, eventually as well but for now we're just going to use somebody else shout out to uh, I think Tim Hansen linked this one so I just decided I was going to leave his. Uh, now since there are duplicates down here, these are just duplicates and there's like two more sets down there. Uh, the baby car is our cutoff. Um, so we have elemental pop backwards uh, and obviously quick revive onwards. I believe I put them in chronological order. Um, so yeah, let's go. First of all, quick revive. Quick revive has been in World at War. Um, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, and Cold War. It has been in all the games it has in World at War. All it did was revive quickly. Black Ops 1, you could self-revive um, in solo, still revive quickly, all the way up until Black Ops 4, where it would no longer do any self-revive. It was just um, your health regen quicker, and as well... Um, yeah, shorter delay before regenerating health and increase regeneration rate. Uh, revive players faster as well for Black Ops 4. And then the modifier, uh, if you have it in your fourth perk slot, uh, get a movement speed boost after health regen starts. Reviving grants both players full health and a movement speed boost. Um, now that is also kind of like Cold War perk. So in a way, like they're all very similar. Uh, Black Ops 4 kind of started the trend of shorter, like, health regen uh, delay, um, and also Co Cold War took on that with uh, this year's Quick Revive perk, and they also, one of the skill tiers is actually, like, get a speed boost and everything. So, overall, this is a badass perk. Um, World of War obviously wasn't the best, because you could just revive yourself, but everything, you know, it... All the stuff that it's been through, overall, it's a good perk. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to look at this overall. Again, I will, um, in the next one, add every Cold War perk, because I feel like they deserve their own category, because there's like five different skill tiers of them. Um, but just overall, Quick Revive has always been a good perk. Juggernaut, obviously, S tier, goes above Quick Revive. Um, it is always giving you more health. Um, the only difference is in the Cold War, well, it, this perk was actually in every game but Black Ops 4, um, one of the rare perks that wasn't, or one of the perks that was not actually in all the maps, um, or in all the games, they took out Juggernaut for BO4, that's why a lot of people hated it, I still liked it though, um, in Cold War, there's a few d little different attributes, but really nothing too crazy. It has like a little bit of Dying Wish in there um, with its tier 5, but otherwise, Jug, always the first perk you probably buy. Now, Speed Cola, I know we're just throwing these in the S tier, but I just love these perks so much. Speed Cola, amazing perk. 
you reload faster. I think in every game that it was introduced, you can rebuild barriers faster as well. Um, it was not in Black Ops 4. The way you obtained it was having all four perks active, and then you would get the sleight of hand speed boost. Um, it has a little bit of time slip in the Cold War version, um, where the mystery box moves a little bit quicker. Um, it does have the stamina modifier um, from Black Ops 4 as it's tier 5 in Cold War, um, where you basically have gung-ho. Uh, so, you know, Spiegel is always great. You always, you know, you, you, I like to reload faster. People say it's, oh, you're bad. Like, you need to just output more damage. Like, no, I'm impatient. I don't want to fucking sit through, like, a 30-second reload animation, you know? Alright, in Double Tab 1, I'm going to put it in D tier. It's really not that good. It was only in World at War and Black Ops 1, and all I did was increase your rate of fire by, like, 30%, and that was it. It really didn't do anything else. I mean, it's a... It's a okay perk because, yeah, you're killing zombies faster, but you are kind of using up um, a lot more ammo because your rate of fire is just so much quicker. Like, you're just kind of accidentally wasting some bullets. Um, so those are all the four perks that were introduced in Verruckt, and this one was discontinued after Black Ops 1. These two didn't make BL4. I think Cook Revive is the only game... Or is the only perk that has been in every single game. It hasn't been in every map. The only map it has not been in is Mob of the Dead. Um, but otherwise it's been in every single map. It's actually insane. Um, so next up we got PhD introduced in Ascension. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say A tier perk. Um, there were so many good things about this perk. Obviously flopping off fucking... Um, this side of ascension um, or even using it on the maps that they added it on after that just so fun to just go flopping around with PhD as well Mustang and Sally um, you don't take damage with because it uh, immunes you from um, explosive damage so you know you can use the ray gun without a care in the world or Mustang and Sally without a care in the world and you're having fun so PhD is definitely a really good perk uh, because I mean you just don't take damage from explosives that's really great and explosives are one of the best guns in Black Ops 1 as well with the ray gun and Mustang and Sally so any map that has PhD on you're gonna be running Mustang and Sally for sure um, is stamina up I'm going to put this in S here, just kind of behind, because I'd, I'd rather put it in top of A or bottom of S. Uh, running faster is great. I like to run faster. I like my game to be quick. You know, I like my guns to reload faster. I like to shoot a little bit faster, although this perk was just a little bit lackluster for me. Um, damn it, I need to throw my phone on the charger. Why did I not do that before this? Um, well, that sucks. Um... What's it called? Stamina. It just you, you just run faster. I mean, there's really not much else to say. I've, in Black Ops War, the modifier, uh, you just had gung ho, um, and you ran super fucking fast. Black Ops Four, or I mean, uh, Cold War. Um, I mean, it's a great perk. You run super fast. You don't take fall damage. So that's really fucking nice. Um, there's a few other things that are pretty cool about it. Uh, but yeah, great perk all in all. Deadshot Daiquiri, it's kind of, it's kind of lackluster as well. It just kind of snaps to the head. It's better on controller for sure. Um, also, this was, this was introduced in Ascension as well. This was also introduced in Call of the Dead. Uh, and in Black Ops 4, there was a Deadshot Dealer perk, which we don't have on here. Uh, so, even though it's kind of the same, there are different things. But it basically just snaps to their head. The Black Ops 4 modifier just gave you like uh, increased damage if you were on a headshot streak. Um, it would give you bonus damage. And, you know, that was really... I used that to get the Welling Gold because you needed headshots with the Welling. But it was so bad. And if you pack a punched it, it would be an explosive weapon. So you basically had to use Deadshot Dealer modifier 
um, with that welling to be able to get 2,500 fucking headshots. Otherwise, you know, are you really going to load up on round one every game? Just get like a few kills and call it? Like, no, no, that shit was terrible. I, I grinded that shit out. That shit was probably the worst gun to grind out. Either way, it's useless on PC except for the Deadshot Dealer version and also the uh, the Cold War version as well um, because there are bonus damages. Uh, you do get a lot of bonus damage and I think you get like, it's tier 5, it like stacks with consecutive headshots. It, it basically is Deadshot Dealer kind of combined with Deadshot as well um, in the Cold War version. Um, so, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'll have a better video. I'll have, like, a full fucking, like, notepad and everything. Same with the other thing. I, I just kind of want to get used to it, kind of get warmed up, and then now I can go back in a few months, uh, when I have my own tier list of, you know, the one, like, what would look good for me. Um, and then I'll have, like, a whole... You know, I'll put a lot of work into it. This one, I'm just trying to go off the dome, um, trying to see where I'd place things, um, and then I can make a better presentation and also talk about them a little bit more next time and maybe even revise. I think I already did revise, like, my map one a little bit just because I was going off the dome. Um, so, for sure, when I do the, the revised visions, those will probably be set in stone unless somehow my mind changes again, but they're going to be a lot better production quality I hope <laughs> uh, so Mew Kick introduced in Moon uh, we got no perk for uh, Shangri-La uh, but introduced in Moon and put on all the maps prior to that in the Black Ops 1 series um, I'm gonna put in C I mean it's pretty good <sighs> but in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 like I don't know that's a big expense like you buy the perk for four grand and then you got to hit the box maybe like three times for like three grand and then you got to pack a punch it for five grand and then you go down and then you got to recycle it all over again like i don't know it's not that good that's why in black ops 4 for one i never use the modifier because i would just put meal kick in one of my perk slots and then use one of the talismans to make sure that I would never lose that perk so I would just never lose meal kick right um, but the modifier more for meal kick was when you go and buy meal kick back you will get the weapon back so if we do end up getting this in Cold War because this is one of the perks that was rumored to come back um, then maybe that will be tier 5 that would be cool also I think PhD was rumored to come back and I think it was Double Tap uh, that was rumored to come back as well. But that is all the Black Ops 1 perks that were added. PhD, Stamina, Meal Kick, and Deadshot. Um, Alright, next up we got the Black Ops 2 perks. So first up, we were introduced to Double Tap 2.0. Now this basically makes your one bullet two. Every one bullet you shoot, it basically, like, shoots two. So, I mean, it's double damage. That's really it. And it was badass. So, yeah. Um, also, on the map Transit, we got uh, Tombstone. Uh, I'm only going to put a little bit higher because of the Cold War version, which is a little bit better. If I were to put just the transit one i would put it in f trash i think tombstone should have been on die rise and i think who's who should have been on transit with who's who on transit you would have had so much more space to run you would have spawned by yourself and you would have done that most of the time every single time i've ever used tombstone on transit which is like twice i would always spawn halfway across the map for my tombstone and by the time i fucking got there all my shit was gone i would ne never i think tombstone would have been so much better on die rise because it's a little bit linear map it's not as huge and who's who would have been so much better on transit because it's so open space i don't know why they didn't do that if they would have flipped then the perks would actually look good but just the the maps that they were on just not good especially if you don't spawn kind of close to your tombstone or at least like one fucking town away like if you die a diner 
and you spawn at fucking like power station or something like you're absolutely screwed or even town like you're just screwed you can't get like two location plus like it's just gonna despawn it really does suck um but on cold war it is nice uh they did merge it with who's who i i think i've only used the gravestone like once but i mean hey it's a perk it's not bad it doesn't DK my three perks when I'm down shit like that it's nice uh, and who's who like I said this was merged into the tombstone in Cold War but you know technically this is just its own perk um, I think who's who is okay it's okay on die rise but again I think it would be way better on um, on transit but I still like who's who I buy Who's Who every game. People shit on it. I actually like it. Honestly, maybe I just live for the thrill of hearing Who Who. Um, next up, we got the Mob of the Dead perk, Electric Cherry. Um, I say this is a pretty good perk. I'll put it at the top of B. Um, every time you reload, uh, electric bolts shock out and stun zombies. Um, it doesn't really help like too crazy into into the high rounds, I don't think, but, uh, you know, it's like the only, it, you might as well buy it, because there's only five perks on Mob of the Dead, Jug, isn't it Spicola, Stamina Up, Electric Cherry, and Deadshot, right, Jug, Spicola, Stamina Up, or is it Double Tap? Is Double Tap on Mob of the Dead? Oh, God. I think it is. It is. Wait, no. So, it's Jug, Double Tap, Speed Cola, Deadshot, and Electric, right? Yeah, they didn't have stamina up on that map. I mean, you don't really need it anyway. So, yeah. I mean, are you really going to choose Deadshot over Electric Cherry? No. So, I mean, you would basically buy this perk every game anyways when you play on that map because you're not going to choose this shit perk that just snaps to their head, especially if you're on PC uh, over something that could potentially help you. Um, so yeah, our next up perk is from Buried, and this is Vulture Aid, and it's kind of an underwhelming perk, but it's it's okay. It's not too crazy. Um, there's green stink that you can stand in. That makes you invulnerable for a few seconds. Zombies drop perks, or zombies drop ammo and money, um, or ammo and points. And all the perks, ba you basically have wall hacks. You can see where the box is, you can see where all the perks are. You have wall hacks. Pretty cool perk. No perk on Origins, uh, but our one perk that we got on Black Ops 3 was Widow's Wine. And I'm going to have to say that this is an S tier perk right behind Jug uh, because, you know, it was basically like having Jug. If a zombie hits you, the webs would shoot out and it'd fuck up a whole bunch of zombies around you. I mean, it's just a great perk. Great perk. Um, love it. All right, so for our Black Ops 4 perks now, we got Time Slip. This was introduced into one of the tiers into Speed Cola on Cold War, where the box moves faster. Uh, but basically, this perk, the box moves faster, or cycles faster. Uh, your Pack-a-Punch cycles faster. Your equipment recharges faster. Uh, traps recharge faster. Um... And then I think with the modifier, your specialist charges faster. Everything just recharges faster. Um, so, I mean, it's a pretty good perk. I'll put it in A. I don't always run this, but it would be one of the ones. If you want to know my every game perk list, Quick Revive, uh, Dying Wish, and then I think I would use Bandolier Bandit or Winter's Wail, depending on what I was playing. If I was playing solo, I'd pl I'd play with Bandolier Bandit. If I was playing with friends, I use Winter's Whale, and then it, every single time my modifier slot stamina up. Um, but yeah, that was literally always my setup, and that's still my setup, and it will always be my setup. Death Perception. I'm just gonna have to put this in the F tier. It's really not that good. I see speedrunners using it just so you can tell where the zombies are coming from. But if you can fucking hear, then you're great. This perk was made if you're deaf. 
Um, the modifier is kind of redeem redeeming because you do extra damage to bosses, but literally, again, that's this perk is made for a handicapped person. You get extra damage on the hardest enemy, and you get to see zombies through walls because you're bad. I mean, it's just a bad perk. There's no point in running that. Um, electric Burst. I'd say it's just a little bit above Electric Chair, I guess, because it's kind of the same thing. Um, except I think it does the mo more damage. Instead of doing like a baseline damage, I think it does a little bit more damage. Um, and when your clip is empty, um, like it will, you know, reload. Or I guess, or it it, w it will do more damage. It, like more, your clip is empty. Also, I forgot that electric cherry was introduced into elemental pop tier five, but we'll get to that later, uh, because that is actually kind of a brand new perk. Um, well, it it is a brand new perk, but uh, yeah. Either way, electric. I think the modifier, if you reloaded, then your melee got like a super like electric burst charge. I used that before. Uh, I think for like a calling card, I had to grind out a calling card with it. I mean, it was pretty fun to use the modifier. Modifier was pretty, pretty good. It was a redeeming quality, but it was very like play. Like I don't know, it was very like you got to play a certain way, and I just didn't like to play that way. I did it once, and you know, it was whatever. Dying wish. I'm going to put this uh, above. Um, Widow, uh, Widow's whale, but behind jug because nothing will ever be jug. Dying Wish was the crutch perk of Black Ops 4. If you didn't run this, uh, you were kind of mad. Um, if your health went to zero, because there's no jug or anything, you only had 200 health. If your health went to zero, you would be invincible for a few seconds. I think the zombies would still chase you, uh, but um, I think you did extra melee damage. You did. You you could me uh, insta melee kill zombies. Um, which normally didn't really help, uh, so you would just spray him down. Um, and then the modifier, the only thing was you would come back with full health, uh, with the baseline, you would come back with 1 HP, uh, but you would begin regenerating instantly, um, whether you had, I think whether you have Quick Revive or not, maybe Quick Revive with that perk just like comboed so well, but I don't know, that combo of perks for me, I only use Bandolier just so I can use more ammo, but I mean... There are some pretty good perks in here. Like, time slips pretty good. Ah, oh, man. It's good perks. Stronghold, Stronghold. Only use this once to be classified. But it is an okay perk if you're camping. But it's not that great. It spawns a ring around you. Um, the longer you stand it, the more armor you get. Um, and I think the more damage you get. And then the modifier, I think, instead of giving you two bars of armor, it'll fit. You can fill up your armor with the four bars and then I think you do more damage victorious tortoise um, this is actually a pretty decent perk I never usually run this that crazy just because it wasn't really my playstyle. but I can see how I mean I know why everybody loves this perk it is literally insane you hold out your shield you are blocked from all angles your right your left your back your front because you obviously have the shield out uh, you're fine like you are literally invincible you take no damage that is literally insane you, you literally are a victorious tortoise because you're hiding in your shell so it is a pretty pretty crazy perk you're on one HP you just pull out your shield you're fine and then especially I think with the modifier I think it blows up with more explosion I think it blows up no matter what but doesn't it like Oh, I thought, no, I have to look this up. Hold on. I don't know if I typed that well at all. What the fu- Uh, shield both- Sh shield bash attacks can knock down heavy and mini boss enemies. That's right. That's what it was. That's what it was. So the actual the modifier is actually not that great because all then all it does is just knock down the the enemies. Uh, 
like mega bosses or mini bosses and uh, shit like that. Um, really, I thought so because I thought Victoria's Tortoise modifier was uh, quite lacking. Um, <clears throat> Bandolier Bandit. It's not the greatest perk, uh, but I'll. I guess I can put it in C. It's just kind of an average perk. It gives you like one extra clip in your mag. It's really not that good. I only used it because it would just give me that more ammo. Um, and then, I mean, there really wasn't much else. I just wanted to use ammo because I was grinding weapons out. So I just wanted as much ammo as I could. Um, the modifier also was pretty like lackluster. I don't know. It acted weird. I think like when you had it stowed, it wouldn't even like st it wouldn't like fill your stock, but it'd fill your magazine. So like if you put your gun away with like zero bullets, basically like don't reload. Like that's basically what it wants you to do is like not reload. Like when you when you're about to reload, just hit triangle or whatever game or whatever like button you gotta hit to swap guns and um. And then it will start, like, filling up your magazine. I don't know. It was really weird. I thought it would, like, fill up my stock. But it did not do that. It was trash. So, this perk, Winter's Whale, actually got a buff midseason. But it is pretty good as well. I'm not going to put it up. I think I'm going to put it at top of A. Because it is a pretty good perk. It's not like uh, Widow's Wine, where it can kill. Um, and you get, like, the grenades, and you can also melee with, like, a, uh, your melee kind of gets, like, a, wet, uh, like, a spider kind of effect to it, uh, so, you know, it's not as crazy as that, uh, a zombie has to hit you, hit you again, and then it'll burst, um, you get three charges with the modifier, you get four, and if you get hit, uh, then it will burst out longer. It will have a longer burst effect. Uh, so, you know, modifier is really good for this as well. I never really ran it, but I normally did run this perk. Uh, if I was with my friends, I would replace Bandolier Bandit because it was just a better perk. Um, PhD Slider. Um, it's not that great, but I would put it at least behind PhD Flopper. You know, the sliding aspect's pretty dog, but, you know, you still get immunity to explosive damage, especially in Black Ops 4 when the healing salvo was literally the best weapon. If the healing salvo wasn't so good, this perk would be an F, but literally if you're going to run the healing salvo, that's the only reason why you're going to be running this perk. Maybe, oh, I guess, like, the welling too, but, I mean, the welling's really not that good. It literally... The best wonder weapon that you can use in Black Ops 4 is the Helion. And you're going to want that fucking PHC slider. Because as soon as you shoot at your feet, it's going to nuke the whole fucking area. Secret Sauce. Uh, this was actually a pretty cool way to spice up the game. Um, as you know, in the Black Ops 4 system, before you load in, you select your four perks. And you're stuck with them throughout the match. So if you selected Secret Sauce in all your four slots, you could actually cycle through all the perks. And you wouldn't be stuck. You could actually have some variety. So it was actually pretty cool. Um, but since it really kind of does nothing, I'm going to put it at the bottom of F. Because it really does nothing besides give you a perk. And it's basically just like the Wonder Fizz. I mean, I guess I'd rather have that over fucking Depth Perception. Because, like, at least then I'd have a chance to get better perks. So, yeah. Fucked up perception. <laughs> uh, then this is our first DLC perk. Um, oh. Okay, we're fine. I don't know why it went to this, but we're just going to have to deal with it. We're, we're, we're just dealing with it, boys. I don't know why it, uh, why it did that. But I don't want to mess it up because earlier when I went into that mode, it reset everything. So... I don't want to do that again. Uh, our first... Per wait. I think it did, like, mess with everything down here. It did, but it didn't mess with my tier list, thankfully. Here. Uh, boom. Okay. <laughs> now.
now we're fixed. Let me just make sure that we look good on our screen. We are good. Okay, so our first DLC perk for Black Ops 4 that came out with uh, Dead of the Night was Ethereal Razor, where it basically just uh, made your melee weapon a lot crazier. And same with the modifier. I think it just made it even fucking stronger. So it pretty actually cool perk. I digged it, um, especially because of just how OP it made your knives. So I think I'm going to put this maybe like at the bottom of B because um, it's really good. But I mean, it's not going to take you to super high rounds. And I mean, it, it's really nice like to help you build points for sure. Like it'll build you points for like crazy because you're just killing zombies. It, it's a decent perk. It's really not bad. Zombshell. Honestly, I can't remember its modifier. Let's see. Zom shell modifier. Um, let's see. What is that shit? When Zomcell is set as the modifier perk and the player has all of their other perks, the perk will allow players that have the perk as the modifier to be ignored by zombies when standing in the contamination field similarly to the... Oh! Okay. Uh, so, basically, like, if you shoot a zombie, it will just, like, create an orb and it will slow him down. But I guess with the modifier, if you stand in it, then you get the Volstray, like, green smoke theme. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I did kind of know that, but I also kind of forgot that. So, but that's pretty cool. I mean, Zomshell kind of glowed up for me right now as, like, maybe my favorite DLC perk. Because I honestly hate this. I mean, this perk's okay, but it's poo. I thought this was kind of poo. But I also don't want to waste my modifier slot, so poo. <laughs> this is okay, but I don't want to waste a slot, poo, poo. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, Blood Wolf Bite. Spawns in a Luna Dog. She'll kill zombies for you. I th oh what I can't remember blood wolf bite modifier when blood wolf bite is set as the modifier perk and the player has all their other perks when ever Luna kills an enemy there is a chance it may drop one of these three type of power ups a power up that gives a player an extra mag for all their weapons signified as a max ammo so I think you can get points as well Wait, let me check. A power up that gives the player 10 points. Uh, a power up that adds a slight amount of charge to the player's special weapon. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so it's like a, so you can get like a miniature bonus point. Miniature full power, a power up that gives players extra ma and a miniature max ammo. That's actually really cool. So blood wolf bite, you basically get uh, the other attributes of vulture aid, uh, but instead you get bonus ammo um, points, and then as well as uh, charge on your specialist weapon. And then Luna will just go around and go crazy. I mean, it's not a bad perk. She kills. I mean, she's pretty good. Honestly, because it kind of recharges your specialist weapon, maybe I put it above Voltrade. But at the same time, not really, because Voltrade is a single package, and these two are just kind of knockoff versions with their modifiers, so who cares. Blaze Phase, this perk is trash. You crouch, you go a distance straight. Uh, with the modifier, you literally go unlimited until you hit a wall. It kills all zombies in your path. It's literally terrible. Um, I literally probably get death perception over this perk. Literally a waste of time. Why would you drop that at all with Tiger Tome? And now for our last and final perk for now until we get more. Um, like I said, I'm planning on trying to do another uh, map list video after Cold War is done uh, in a better, you know, I'll make my own tier list. Same with this one. It's not all crazy. And we have every single like separate perk that I want to talk about. AKA like 
the quick revive from one of the ore in Black Ops 4, or, or in, and I want all the Cold War perks because I just think that they're a little bit different um, in general. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, our last perk, Elemental Pop. It is basically like almost like change shoes, but not exactly. Um, the four ammo, well, actually, technically at this point, there are five uh, ammo mods that you can pack a punch with. Uh, the Napalm Burst, uh, Dead Wire, Cryo Freeze, Brain Rot, and Shatter Blast. Those will prot every once in a while if you with this perk. Um, I forget what all the tiers are, if I'm being honest. But uh, one of the tiers is... Um, Honestly, what are all the tiers? Because now that I'm thinking about it, elemental pop all tiers. Equipment damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. So, equipment damage has a chance to prot the uh, ammo mod, reduce ammo mod cooldowns. When random ammo mod is applied, it uses the ammo mod's current skill tier. Uh, so when you upgrade your ammo mods as well, it will use your tier 1, 3, 4, or 5. So that's really cool. Increase enemy elemental weakness damage by 50%. And then the fifth tier is obviously electric burst. Um, so this perk is actually... I, I do love this perk. I think this perk is really amazing. Um, and honestly, I think I'd put it behind... I, I think I'd put it at the top of A. Honestly, actually, at this point in the meta, I'd put it at the top or bottom of S because it really does help, especially with Quick Revive Tier 5. Uh, when you drop down uh, with Elemental Tier 5 and you die, zombies around you, they just start, they're stunned, and then they give you a chance to kill a zombie and get up with Quick Revive if you want, or you can use Tombstone. It's a really great perk. I really do love it. I'm going to put in the S tier. That's going to do it. The baby car obviously the best perk in the world um let's go by the way but that's gonna be it that's gonna be my tier list i hope you enjoyed my scuff tier list again i plan to do another one in the future maybe in like in another month or so uh we can do like a zombie boss tier list uh with all the zombie bosses that would be cool um i've been thinking about doing this perk tier list for a while because you know i love me my perks and i love me my zombies so um yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'm looking at this and i'm loving it i mean i don't think i'd really change much i like jug like dying wish what is wine Double tap, speed cola. I mean, literally, if you had, like, the first four perks up there, you'd literally be OP. You have Jug. When you go to zero HP, you're invincible. You have fucking spiders slowing them down. You have, like, four charges, and then you have double damage. Man. Reloading quicker. I, I like this tier list. I'm liking it. I'm kind of like rethinking PhD Slider, but then, again, the Healing Salvo just pops up in my head. And you don't need PhD Slider to use the Healing Salvo, but, I mean, I really would recommend it. So you can just shoot it at your feet, and it just nukes the whole area like you're fine. It just, Blight Father's right next to you, boom, right on the ground, motherfucker's dead. And you don't get hurt at all, so, I don't know. Just so good. I'm liking it. I, I, I think I fuck with it. I don't think I can change it. Maybe I will in the future. Maybe we won't. The next tier list will be more beefy because I will have like more perks in here. Same with the vid, uh, map vid. There's going to be more maps. And it's going to be more structured. I'm going to have more to say. More to talk about. It won't be off the dome. I'm going to have some few plot points. And uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. Um, and yeah. I love you guys. Peace.